Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture on your screen. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, choose your answer on your screen. The statements will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 on your screen. A. She's packing some clothing. B. She's folding a t-shirt. C. She's closing a closet. D. She's examining a sweater. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 on your screen. A. A lamp is being cleaned. B. People are standing up around the table. C. A laptop is being opened. D. Some of the chairs are unoccupied. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and choose the letter A, B, or C on your screen. Number 3. Where are we going for our company trip? A. I'll accompany you. B. At least once a year. C. To a beach resort. Number 4. How can I request a refund for this item? A. It was damaged when I bought it. B. By going to the customer service desk. C. That comes to $10.50. Number 5. Don't you sell vegetables in this store? A. Store them in a cool place. B. Not anymore, I'm afraid. C. I'm trying to be more healthy. Number 6. Which design is the most suitable for the poster? A. Right beside the door. B. I posted it in the hallway. C. The one with the blue circles. Number 7. Joshua recently relocated to Hong Kong, didn't he? A. How long will you be there? B. I'll help you look for it. C. No, he decided to stay here. Number 8. The new PR manager seems to be very experienced. A. She should be an asset to our firm. B. We are interviewing several candidates. C. I've worked at a few big companies. Number 9. Have you purchased more toner for the copier? A. You can use my credit card. B. Sarah took care of it. C. Yes, I made copies of the report. Number 10. I think it's time to replace the equipment in the warehouse. A. This car comes fully equipped. B. No, I've never visited the place. C. Is it not working properly? Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. In this practice test, you just need to answer two questions. Select the best response to each question and choose the letter A, B, C, or D on your screen. The conversations will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Question 11 and 12 refer to the following conversation. Are you available to speak with me for a minute? I'm attending this job fair specifically because I heard about the marketing manager job opening with your company. I believe that I am a good fit for the role. Do you have any previous experience? 
I only want to interview applicants who have worked for at least a year in the marketing department of medium to large sized businesses. I have two years of experience working in print marketing and another year working with online sales. Both of these positions were with large companies. I have my resume right here, if you'd like to see it for yourself. Number 11. What does the position require? Number 12. What does the man say about his background? Question 13 and 14 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'm Nancy Keefe from the Daily News. I would appreciate it if you could answer a few questions I have about the new stadium. Is there anything unique about it you'd like the public to know about? Certainly. Ticket holders will be excited to learn we are building a rollback roof. When the weather is nice, the roof will remain open, but we'll keep it closed whenever it's raining. Also, according to our designs, we will have the country's tallest video screen. It all sounds so exciting. Do you think you could show me around? No problem. Put one of these hard hats on and follow me. Be sure to watch your step. Number 13. Who is the woman? Number 14. What does the man say about the roof? Question 15 and 16 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I need to request an employee parking permit. My new apartment isn't near a subway station, so I will have to drive to work from now on. You should contact the human resources manager, Mr. Hong. Just note that when I asked him about getting one last month, I was told that there is a waiting list. Really? The lot in front of our building is never full, though. I guess the company needs to ensure that our clients can find a place to park. So, staff aren't allowed to park in the front two rows. Hmm. Do you know Mr. Hong's extension? I'll speak to him about this situation now. Number 15. Why does the man need a permit? Number 16. According to the woman, what are staff prohibited from doing? Questions 17 and 18 refer to the following conversation. This is Tim Jenkins calling. I recently booked a Caribbean cruise through your agency. However, my allotted vacation days have changed. I can no longer go on my trip as currently scheduled. Could you please get me a refund? I'm sorry, Mr. Jenkins, but the trip that you booked is non-refundable. I can call the cruise line and reschedule your booking, but I cannot cancel and get your money back. I didn't realize that canceling the ticket would be difficult. What other options do I have? I can arrange for the cruise line to provide you with a travel credit to be used in the future. Usually funds expire within 15 months, so you will need to provide new travel dates within that time. Number 17. What problem does the man mention? Number 18. According to the woman, what does the man need to provide? Questions 19 and 20 refer to the following conversation and list. Ms. Williams, you wanted to talk to me? Yes, Ryan. Have you been sharing copies of the inventory lists with all the stockroom staff like I asked? No. I thought you wanted me to give the list to the store manager only. Sorry if I misunderstood your instructions. That's all right, but please do that for future deliveries. Certainly. Is there anything else? Yeah, I need you to order more inventory for our shop. Anything with fewer than 10 items in stock, aside from extra small sizes. They don't sell as quickly, 
so we only need to keep five of those products on hand at a time. Right away, Ms. Williams. Number 19. According to the woman, what should be shared with staff? Number 20. Look at the graphic. Which size should the man reorder? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. In this practice test, you just need to answer two questions. Select the best response to each question and choose the letter A, B, C, or D on your screen. The talks will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Questions 21 and 22 refer to the following telephone message. This is Devin Stern from Everyday Day Call, calling in reference to order number 73315. You recently purchased a number of home furnishing items, including a designer set of bed sheets. Unfortunately, the specific design pattern that you selected is out of stock. It seems that you placed your order from an outdated brochure. I would like to send our current catalog for you to look through. The pricing for most of the bedding is the same, but there is a greater selection of patterns for you to choose from. Please select another set of bed sheets and submit a new order. Number 21. What does the speaker say about the bed sheets? Number 22. What does the speaker offer to do? Questions 23 and 24 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Employees are reminded that we have contracted Biz Solutions, Inc. to perform a full service throughout our company headquarters next week. Starting on August 27th, their team will be cleaning all of the offices on the first floor, including the disposal of all documents that we mark as waste. On August 28th, the second floor offices will also be vacuumed, wiped down and polished, so these rooms will be closed all day. On the final day, the company will work on the reception area. In preparation for this work, please ensure that you either take your personal items home with you or put them in boxes in the storeroom. We will not be held responsible for any loss or damage. Thank you. Number 23. When will the second floor offices be closed? Number 24. What does the speaker tell the listeners to do? Questions 25 and 26 refer to the following news report. Due to a significant number of road collisions where Hollywood Boulevard crosses Kenwood Avenue, our city council plans to convert the site into a traffic circle. Mr. Fung, the chairperson of the City Traffic Committee, will hold a town hall meeting tomorrow night at the Taylor Public Library to discuss this change. He will give an extensive presentation about the construction schedule and how it will affect the community. All questions will be answered at this meeting. It doesn't end there. The City plans to review the suggestions and concerns raised by residents and incorporate that feedback into its plan. Afterward, it will post a detailed description of the project on its website. Number 25. What is the report about? Number 26. What does the speaker mean when he says, It doesn't end there. Questions 27 and 28 refer to the following speech. My name is Melanie Chen. I am the longtime editor of renowned author Alan Short, and I have come here tonight to accept this award on his behalf. 
Unfortunately, Mr. Short is unable to attend this evening as he now lives in Italy and was unable to return to Canada on short notice. However, I can say with confidence that he is truly honored to be the 25th recipient of the Red Mark Medal in honor of the exceptional literature for kids he has written. Although we met nearly 15 years ago, I continue to be amazed every day by his dedication to his work. I can think of no better person to receive this honor than Mr. Short. Number 27. Why is Mr. Short unable to attend an event? Number 28. Why has Mr. Short received an award? Questions 29 and 30 refer to the following report. And now for the weather. The city will continue to experience a serious thunderstorm tonight through tomorrow. Heavy rain will fall until Wednesday morning and clouds will move out of the area later Wednesday afternoon. Due to the risk of flooding, public schools will remain closed on Tuesday. A Department of Education official plans to make an announcement in the afternoon about whether the institutions will reopen on Wednesday. It's doubtful at this point, but be sure to refer to the school's website tomorrow to find out the latest information on the issue. Number 29. What does the speaker mean when he says, It's doubtful at this point. Number 30. Why should listeners visit a website?